Sully Hall. Here we go. It's a bit tarmac at the moment. Land Rover Experience. Nominated to be the cameraman on this first run, so I'll be outside the car getting boggy. So they are unlocked now, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, well, no, they're not locked. They're um, both open. Yes. Yeah, so so they'll, they will lock automatically, lock automatically. and you'll, you'll, change, you'll see them change to like a ready amber yeah, color. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, but they'll only, like oh, on the old defenders, yeah, you've got to move your lever across and manually lock your centre diff. Here, though, you've got a centre and a rear diff that will lock for you, but uh, only when they need to. And that's like in milliseconds, you know. So. Yeah. So this is the jungle track. This is the this oldest is part of the site, yeah. There's old footage on YouTube, to be honest with you. The old Pathé News. Oh, uh, yeah, um, yeah. Old 1949 Series 1 Land Rovers running around these very same tracks. Because back then, you know, birth of Land Rover, 1948, uh, all this was like countryside. Solid holes like over there, two miles down that way. All countryside, and that's where they used to do some of the original testing. Yeah. And there's, as I say, the old footage, um, yeah, shows you uh, the old Land Rover's doing exactly the same as kind of what, what we're doing. This has got into it. Oh no, this is <laughs> nothing <laughs> yet really. This is just the entrance. I've never been proper off roading before. Oh, okay. No, you're over a tree. That's good. Brilliant. Yeah. I'll come off. Oh yeah. I've so got both feet on the floor now. And this now will, whatever gradient, as long as it's got traction, so even up here now, this vehicle will just try and maintain the speed. I could increase it, set plus, set minus, or decrease if I want. Cruise control off road. It's like a low speed cruise control. <laughs> That's wicked. And it's amazing, you know, the level of gradient that you'll go up as well, just by, again, it's all about traction. But uh, if you haven't got traction, then you're gonna sit there with your four wheels yeah. spinning. But uh, you can always have a ride as well on the throttle, so. here never dries out because it's fed from an overflow from a, a Grand Union canal just outside the plant and it there's a pipe that runs from the canal into this area and it all goes back to the Second World War when they wanted water on site just in case there was a fire or we got bombed I'm sorry, we got bombed I don't quite remember that far about myself but, uh, <laughs> um, and it was to cool the machines down the other side of the fence in the factory so and they never closed the pipe so it flows in round here and uh, this is where the deep water bit will be. Oh, yeah. They accidentally made a really good approach. <laughs> they did, yeah, no, it's um, <laughs> perfect. Barely it getting started. Yeah, it doesn't tell you how deep the water is, but it tells you what your maximum wade line is. Yep. So two feet 11 is metric equivalent 900 mil. So we're just below the center of the wheels. We've got bags uh, of depth to go. And will we get near this? Yeah, we, we should do. If I was to guess, I thought, like, being yeah, in an off road car, you'd think, oh, I don't know how much more we can do. Yeah, now. you'd think, well, actually, you'd yeah, probably yeah, turn around, wouldn't you? Yeah, about halfway. Really halfway oh, yeah. into its capability. You, yeah. just, you just looked out the window and went, punch, right? Yeah. 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 So, uh, <laughs> it's like, where's my canoe? Yeah, don't have any doors. <laughs> but yeah, Pretty you look, you look incredible, isn't it? Yeah. You basically can just go into a river. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You've got another foot or so yeah. to go. Oh, it's, yeah. um, <laughs> this is not deep, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, com compared to what the vehicle can but do. You, you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It? It's literally you can go anywhere vehicle. Well, it is. Oh, and it puts to shame most cars as well, because it's the speed it's got. It is. It still wants to pick up, that's the problem. Yeah, yeah. That, was only, that was only a little bit there. Yeah, it dropped in neutral. That's the one thing we love about this car, other than the, oh, the noise. performance yeah. and its ability, it just sounds yeah. like right good. To the right, yeah. So to the right? Yeah, turn right. Yeah, it's indicating. 
<laughs> right hand to the right. Just mind this tree on the right as well. That doesn't sound good. So, okay, we're, we're in off-road height. We just ran out of ground clearance. We haven't got stuck. No. We haven't done any damage, but that scrape means, okay, we're now entering an area that we're on the limit. Yeah. Everything's got a limit, and uh, this is the limit for range. Well, that was the limit yeah, for range. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your wellies. You have to make it sort it out. Yeah. Well, 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 give it a quick clean. Oh, it's got carpet in it, not rubber mats, though, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, no, it's proper <laughs> deep hole carpet. Yeah, right. <laughs> Mate, it's too late, you've done it now. No, don't matter. You just get on with it. They'll dry out. No, don't take that no, off. Don't, don't take it off. the carpet, God. There's nothing I can do. Just commit. So straight so we'll up. We'll go straight up, <laughs> yeah. We just need to ride you up, eh? Yeah. Twenty-eight degrees this hill. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go down a forty-degree hill uh, in a bit. Oh wow! And that's 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 steep. <laughs> That's actually quite scary. It is. I'm not going to lie. That's so, actually really so, scary. So you're going to start on the brakes now. <laughs> For God's now. sake. It feels like it doesn't want to stop much more now. No, it will. It will hold it on the brakes. That's it. Really well. That's just shit. Actually. There's a lot of poo coming out. Yeah. Actually. So now let go? No. no. Not just yet, not just yet. Just keep it on the brakes. Oh, okay. yeah. your, your back axle is just about to come over the top. Uh -huh. Now, if this is slippy, even though you've set two miles an hour down there, there's no fast. way the brakes can hold this at two miles an hour. It will have to release and you'll hear the brakes pulse like this. Middle of the track, wheels nice and straight. When you're ready, just gently off the brakes. Fully off. Or the fully off. Off. Completely. Don't touch Tension the steering wheel. Just off. Yeah, no, don't touch the steering wheel. No, 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 don't touch the brakes. Oh, yeah, yeah, so no. Lift off fast or slow? Yeah, there. well, just off. You can see now, you can hear it going yeah. all the time, all the time. This is faster than two miles an hour. Yeah. Then it slowed you back down to two because it's got grip again. Because, you know, anything, as I say, anything obeys the laws of physics. Now, Oh, I see that. I was waiting for that. That's how slippy it is. I was waiting for that. Yeah. You've got to be really, really careful. Okay, mate. Yeah. That could have been more painful. Yeah, it could have, yeah. He did all right that there. That could have been broken arm. If he'd have... I think he's pulled out two on the chin, though. He's probably is aching a little bit. He's broken arm, that chin. I bet you it should have skinned him. Don't be tempted to use the throttle net. Just take your feet away from the pedals. That's it, just stay Because it won't do it quickly, otherwise you'll be lurching you forward and you'll be shooting off the edge of the track. So, oh, so right, don't, don't touch anything. And that was going that, now, now let it think about it. He'll, he'll just think about it. So is it trying to work out what we're going on? Yeah, it's trying to think now, well, OK, you're going down, and it thinks it's climbing up a gradient for a little short time, yeah, then it's going it flat, yeah. it goes down, and it's going up another gradient, and it'll get stuck in a minute, and it'll think about it. Right, don't touch anything. Now it's stuck. No, just don't, just don't, just let it think about it. There you go. <laughs> don't, don't touch anything. Steering wheel might be useful. A little bit of right hand lock, a bit of left hand lock. That's it. But don't touch any pedals. All you're doing is steering. How's the ride? This is brilliant. It's pretty comfy back there, though, isn't it? Oh, I don't know about it. And now it's sort of nailed, hasn't it? It's like, I'm yeah, not it's, it's kind of flattened yeah. out a little bit. Um, it just depends how deep these potholes are it's going into. But you could you could travel yeah. around all day like this if you want, just steering, <laughs> or just set the speed on your steering wheel. Really? Go around to the right. Same 
again, just let it go over. It's just like, and I'm gonna fall over. <laughs> Again, very little drama, really, yeah. considering what you're coming on. It's uh, it's really like it. Yeah, it's very, it holds it so easy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I'll hold it on the brakes as long as I can. Oh my god. That's, that's definitely the best one going to die. Asteroid from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension of sound impossible to obtain in a Manolo recording. That looks used, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Can you uh, explain what's going on, my boys? So we're just looking at some of Ash's war wounds to the car. Oh, and no, the back. There you go. Oh, dear. Oh, the backside as well. Oh, my God. Backside as well. one's had a bit of a... Bit of a crunch. Tires are all good, though, aren't they? I don't think that was. I think that's what you I think thought. You think the tire fits, don't you? Oh, no, here. No, they, they, they weren't that, that bad before. Enough. Not that bad. Are we happy with this? Nice and clean, isn't it, boys? Very nice and clean. That was wicked. More than I can say for you, Rupert. Can you ex what happened? I um it turned out Rupert Malin doesn't have your decline assist. <laughs> I don't. He fell down the hill. I was out there trying to get some shots for you guys. And uh, I couldn't quite compete with a 38 degree slope one. <laughs> Slid down my ass. Top man. To say, don't run down a 38 degree slope after a Range Rover. <laughs> this is the long wall based version of this car, right? There's 20 of these in the world. They're seriously rare. Yeah. The way they do it, right? Get the fender. They literally cut it in half, bolt two more doors on. And that's, it's not as simple as that, but essentially that's what they've done to make this. You can't buy these. These well, they, they, People do have them. They, they're mainly work for Land Rover, yeah. and there's some in South Africa for the tools and stuff. Look, yeah, that's all good And they're seriously rare. No, they're, they're worth the club, they? they got two, three here? Three here. And how many they seat? And um, there's this one, there's four, there's four, there's four, there's four, there's two, two, five. Twelve. Twelve seats. Including the driver. Three. Excluding the driver. And you look at how badass that looks. Yeah. It's me. Good bit kid. And you reckon SV will make one of these still. If you watch now, you've got enough cash to make one of them. Still. 
Thank you very much. So, Solly Hull off-road experience with Range Rover. Amazing. Absolutely. If you haven't done this, I seriously recommend it. Seriously. If you really want to get into off-roading, I understand what it's all about. This is a place that goes straight to the these, seriously good angles. These cars can do things that you would never expect. You feel invincible in them. You really do. Incredible. Incredible. Huge. Great um, instructor as well. Thanks, Neil, and thanks, Carl. Oh. Oh. We'll see you in East North. Exactly. Cheers, guys. See ya.